So today is the very first day of 2024. It's the start of a brand new year and it's a time when everyone is full of hope and promises for all the things they're gonna accomplish in the year ahead. It's a time for goal setting, ambitious dreams, and leaving behind past failures to focus on the future. For a lot of filmmakers out there, that means that they're planning on this year being the one where they finally get new clients, start a new project, or finish that short film that's been sitting on their editing timeline for months. But as much as I love the hopefulness of this time of year and I'm a big fan of thinking big, the problem is that most people will fail for one simple reason. Filmmaking is an incredibly fun and rewarding way to make a living, and for me personally, I couldn't imagine doing anything else with my life. It's been a ticket to seeing the world and learning about cultures and international events from the ground level, and if you can get the work, it can be really well paying to boot. But all that good stuff comes with the fact that there are a lot of people who want to do it too, and not everyone is going to make it. So in this video, I'm going to break down the number one reason that a lot of filmmakers won't get what they want this year. And then at the end, I'll give you some tips on how you can avoid making the same mistakes so that 2024 really is the best year of your filmmaking career. Okay, so New Year's Day, assuming I didn't stay out too late the night before, is normally the day of the year when I sit down for a couple of hours in a coffee shop and plan out all my goals and things I want to accomplish for the year to come. I do this just by making an Apple Note or a Google Doc, and then I make bullet points of all the things I want to make happen for myself. Then I've got a master list to work with, I'll open up a calendar, and then figure out how and when it's logistically possible to do everything. I think this is a great practice for anyone going after a creative career for a couple reasons. Firstly, for me anyways, the act of writing things down helps to solidify goals in your own head and it gives you a better idea of what your priorities for the next 12 months are so you don't get too distracted by all the noise around you. Secondly, placing all that stuff on a calendar helps you, or it helps me anyways, understand what's actually realistic and what might be a little bit too much. Like, it's great to visualize yourself directing two feature films and growing a personal brand to 100,000 followers and locking down meetings with a bunch of new high paying clients, but when you actually look at the timeline, you might see that there just aren't enough weeks to do it all. Dream big for sure, just make sure it's physically possible. This is a great exercise for anyone to do and it's been a huge help for me personally. But this isn't a video about goal visualization because that's the easy part of the equation. Anyone can make plans and the reason most filmmakers will fail this year isn't because they're not dreaming big enough, no. What's gonna hold people back boils down to one word, action, or at least lack thereof. Taking action by which I mean physically doing something or making something is literally the only way you're gonna get anywhere. All the goals, all the research, all the gear, none of it means a thing without action. And taking action and doing something is the single hardest part of any creative endeavor. And before I jump in with some tips and tricks that can help you make this year your most action oriented yet, just let me take a second and list a few things that are not taking action. Right off the bat, ideas. Ideas are not action. They are the building blocks of creativity and coming up with them is super important if you want to tell stories, but an idea is nothing without execution, or at least basically nothing. There are billions of people in the world with an idea for a movie or a business or a book or whatever, but far fewer people who actually made a movie, started a business or wrote a book. We definitely wanna make space for creative thinking and coming up with ideas this year, but don't mistake a bunch of good ideas for having actually done something. Next up is research. Research is another thing that can feel a lot like action, but it is definitely not. Don't get me wrong, researching, by which I mean watching YouTube videos or reading books or listening to podcasts and all that stuff is great for educating yourself. Having a good foundation of knowledge is essential and it's part of the job. But knowing a lot is not the same thing as doing a lot and so we need to be aware that even though watching a lighting breakdown online might be better than doom scrolling TikTok, it's not equal to going out and lighting a shot yourself. Understanding the theory behind the filmmaking process is great, but it's not even close to as valuable as actually making a film. And lastly, buying stuff is absolutely not the same thing as taking action. While saving up your cash for that FX6 body you've been dreaming about is a great achievement and something you should seriously be happy about, spending money is one of the easiest things in the world to do. Owning stuff and using that stuff to 
make things are very different and there's nothing sadder than a closet full of amazing gear that looks great on the shelf but never gets used. So yes, gear matters a lot and anyone who says it doesn't is probably clickbaiting you. But having filmmaking gear and using it are very different animals. Buying is open to anyone with a credit card while finishing a film can be one of the most challenging creative things in the world. All right, so now that we know what action isn't, what does constitute taking action and how can we get better at it? It's pretty simple. Anytime you actually do something or make something, you're taking action. Writing a script is taking action. Finding a story and arranging access, that's taking action. Bringing on crew or volunteers and making a schedule is action and shooting is taking action. The ultimate expression of action is exporting a finished product, however imperfect, and sharing it with the world. I should say that without this final step though, all that other action counts for much, much less because a film no one has seen is essentially the same thing as no film at all, but I think you get what I'm saying. And the reason that so few filmmakers will succeed in 24 is because taking action is incredibly hard for everyone, myself included. Like if I use making this video as an example, coming up with the idea wasn't tough and neither was scheduling the publishing day, but actually opening a blank document, sketching out the idea, writing a rough script, and then setting up the studio and sitting down to film, it was a lot harder because I don't wanna make it seem like I'm saying I have some superpower where I'm all action all the time. And the reality is that I opened so many apps, checked my email so many times and did countless other pointless things to avoid actually making this video along the way. But at the end of the day, I did the thing and now this is a finished video that you're watching. And if you wanna get anywhere as a filmmaker this year, you need to do the thing too. So how do we get better at it? Well, for me, the first step is to be able to recognize when you're actually doing something and when you're avoiding the doing. The most helpful book I've ever read on this is The War of Art, which a lot of you have probably heard of before if you've ever listened to a podcast in the last 10 years, but it really is the best thing out there. The book gives the forces of inaction a name and calls it resistance. All the fears you have of failing, all the times you clean the house instead of getting to work, and all the times you hesitate before hitting upload are just resistance showing itself in different forms. By giving resistance a name, sort of like a mindfulness practice, it makes it much easier to catch yourself about to avoid taking action by watching that next suggested video from the YouTube algorithm. Like and subscribe. Another thing that I found super helpful is to set deadlines and then do everything in your power to stick to them, even if no one else cares. Like this past summer, as I was getting ready to release my documentary cinematography course, I was terrified. I generally don't ask people who watch these videos to buy anything from me, and so as I got closer to finishing the thing, I was really anxious about the launch itself. Like what if no one signed up? What if people hated it? What if every single person asked for a refund? I could have kept tweaking it and adding new videos and updating the website forever to avoid that fear. So instead my editor Santi and I just picked a day and worked our asses off to make it work. It was actually terrible timing if I'm being honest. I just moved across the country. I had a huge shoot coming up a week later and there were all sorts of excuses I could have made to push it. So we added an extra layer of accountability but by making that date public and putting a live countdown on the website and then announcing it on the channel so that even if I'd wanted to, I couldn't back out. And you know what? We hit the deadline, launched the course, and it sold out in four days. I'm not here to sit around and pretend that that makes it any easier though, because only in hindsight does it look like success. I'm gonna relaunch the course again in late February, 2024, by adding a bunch of new videos and expanding the community. And I'm fighting all the same battles in my head, even though I've already been through this and it worked out just fine. So I'll do the same thing again and fight resistance by creating a deadline and making it public, which I'm almost positive will be sometime at the end of February. Just waiting to lock in a few shoes dates and then I'll know for sure, but if this process works for me, it will definitely work for you too. So if you want to learn everything I know about the foundations of documentary cinematography, sign up for the waitlist in the description and I'll give you early access and a discount. Boom! Seamless sales pitch integration. How is that for action? Seriously though, I only make these videos because I want them to help you get what you want in your filmmaking or photography or whatever creative career. I want you to avoid all the mistakes I made over the years and hopefully do this stuff better than I ever did. But that's not gonna happen without taking action. Sadly, the majority of people watching this video won't take action and that's just the way of the world. But if you can be one of those few people who finds a way to break the resistance and actually do stuff, you'll be way ahead of the pack and well on track to making 2024 your most successful year ever. See ya.